Hi, everybody. I am here with Nikki Gentry. Nikki, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day today to talk with me. Nikki, um, yeah, she thank you so much. I'm super excited. I've got a little bit of a delay happening. It looks like my internet is cutting out a little bit. That's Nikki okay. joins in the Content Creator Lab program three months ago. And Nikki's story and just the progress that she has made over the last three months has been incredible and inspiring. And I wanted to um, hop on a call with you just to hear a little bit about that and let you share some of that with, um, you know, others who might be interested in joining or thinking about doing content creation themselves. Yeah, definitely. so the first thing I wanted to ask, um, basically, I want to go back to when you and I first connected, like three months ago, um, you know, where were you at, at that point in time? Like, what was the problem that you were facing? And what made you like, want to seek out a, pro a program like the Content Creator Lab? Gotcha. Okay. So I was a virtual assistant um, and um, I was on LinkedIn, all these other sites, you know, getting, getting clients and I liked it. And I liked working from home and being remote and being my own boss, but I didn't feel like I was my own boss. I still had to report to other people and I was asked to do things that weren't in my wheelhouse or maybe they were, and I just didn't want to do them. So mm -hmm. I found myself just doing projects that I didn't want to really do. And I really didn't care to help out their business. Also, the other side is that I always wanted to be creative. I always wanted to artistic and I now feel like everyone has a secret talent and I feel like mine is photography because I feel really good about my work it's so uh, good thank you and so it's really going really great so I love the idea because I've always been envious of artists that can create something draw whatever it may be and or play music and it just goes out there and people buy it like how yes. great would that be like that was that's like my pipe dream well and it yes. like finally came true so that's where I'm kind of at now where I'm just like this is so wonderful I love that. I love that. And um, you have a lot of options. You said you were a virtual assistant when you first, um, you know, learned about the content creator lab. What made you choose this content creation for bloggers specifically then over anything else that you could have done? Well, since I was a virtual assistant, um, I, I, I felt like I needed to do something different. And then when I met you, I knew niching down was the key factor yeah. and just focusing on something very specific. And since it was kind of an artsy kind of thing, uh, I thought that would be, you know, a great way to join and I could be my own boss and, you know, and I could just be creative and, you know, and just niche down and like be very yeah. focused with it. It makes yeah. such a big difference in your just having clarity in your business and your income. Because I was kind of at the same point as you when I learned about content creation. I was a general virtual assistant doing like all kinds of different tasks. And it wasn't really lighting me up until I found content creation and I niched down and I had so much clarity in my business. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I got to be creative and your income just like skyrockets when you niche down, as you know. <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah. So did you have any concerns initially that might have prevented you from joining the content creator lab? And if so, like what about the program or what involved in the program put your fears to rest? Um, I didn't have any concerns because I hopped on your Instagram account. And I just loved how active you were and you shared information. And I loved how you said you really need to niche down. I'm like, I know I, I need to. Um, but my, I think my biggest concern was, is that I, I don't, I've never bought a good camera. I've never used a good camera. I have no idea how it works. And I take, use my iPhone, which is a pretty decent camera. And my oh, yeah. pictures are horrible. My pictures are terrible. <laughs> like, I mean, it's fine with the family, but like to take, yeah. food, I take photos of my food all the time <laughs> and they are, I could never show them to anyone because they're like terrible. Like they're just oh. so bad. I didn't know what I was doing. So I think that was a big fear. Like how could I honestly take photos with a camera and like take proper photos but um but after I after the practice and just getting into it because my first couple of photos that I took were not really that great because I really didn't know what I was doing and you were it's brand new and yeah. it's practice and getting into it and now I feel like very you know I still feel like I still have lots to learn just because it's just you know I'm still kind of feel like I'm a newbie um but yeah much much oh my gosh so much better Oh yeah. It's amazing. The transformation. And it's like, it doesn't take that long once you get the hang of it to see that improvement. And then you can start charging more. And it's just like, you yeah. start to get the flow and see like what you need to do to get the shot that you need to get. I started the same way as you, like I didn't have a camera when I first started, I shot my photos on my camera phone, which is like embarrassing now, but that was like 
what I had, it was the best camera that I owned and eventually worked my way up to a DSLR. But it just goes to show that people who don't have photography as like a background can totally do this. You can start as a newbie and be completely successful with it. Right. I agree. Yep. I agree. So how long did it take you to make your investment back from the program? I would say probably a little less than a month to pay back the program, the camera, all my supplies. That is amazing. Yeah. And I, I think that. I cooked maybe two or three meals a week starting out to be consistent. Uh, but I would say just a little less than a month to pay everything back. That's awesome. What results as a whole then have you gotten from this experience? And it doesn't have to be like dollar amounts, but like um, what, what, were your, what have your results been over the past few months? Well, this job is kind of, it's changing everything where it's going to put me in a place where my goal is in six months that I can like do this full time and quit my day job. Cause I have a data entry type day job right now, uh, which is a great job. My boss is awesome, but I don't want to work for anyone. I want to work yeah. for myself. So I love cooking. Like I'm like working in my day and I work until like noon. I'm like, I can't wait to start. But I've wasted like three hours, two to three hours where I could have been cooking in the morning. So, uh, and that's my goal. I want to get to the point where I can make two meals a day and I can work four or five days a week um, and not work on the weekends. This current job I'm working in the weekends, I work at 5 a.m. all the way down to like 8 p.m. because I get emails. I just, I, I want to be at a place where I can be my own boss. I can cook whenever I want. If we, like, we want to put a deck on the back of well it's pretty expensive so pick up an extra shift and like cook an extra meal a week or yes. like, you know here and there to be able to pay for it so that's where I'm at on top of you know paying for my salary and, and you know and my retirement so that's where I'm at with that to be able to you know benefit from everything that's awesome you've got it down too girl I definitely see you being able to quit that job soon like with your income the way it has grown over the past couple of months I am impressed I'm just like oh. I seriously tell the other students in the program about you and I'm like I'm just like okay you need to hear about this because you know they're just starting out you know brand new and it gives them encouragement and it's inspiring so that's so exciting you'll definitely get there soon um, and that kind of answers the question, what you just said, how do you see this new career opportunity um, and income stream impacting your future? You kind of answered that already. Do you have anything to add to that? And I kind of set myself up to six months from when I started. So my goal is by September that, you know, I would like it to be sooner, but I get, you know, if, if I can hit the six month mark and I think I'm just going to quit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I will just have to work, you know, and, and just cook, you know, I'll just yeah. be able to have the time just to create. cook, but I know I'm in a place where I have, yes, and just create. And I've got a good following. I've got email followers and I've got a Facebook group and I've just got, you know, a community that's starting to build up. So that's and awesome. that, and each month that's just going to keep growing. So absolutely. Absolutely. So what aspect of the Content Creator Lab program did you enjoy or benefit from the most? Um, I liked all the explanation of everything. You were super clear and concise. I like if I have questions, I could reach out to you. Um, so I think that was the most helpful uh, because I purchased um, other programs before in the past. Um, but this was more concise and clear and it was niched down and there was just more of a help from on with questions that I had. So if someone were to join, now this isn't a question we talked about ahead of time, but if someone were to join the program and they didn't have the private coaching aspect, are the modules um, thorough enough and comprehensive enough where they could go through the steps and still have success as a content creator lab or a, as a content creator for bloggers? Do you think that they would be able to start that process up effectively and successfully if I wasn't there holding their hand through it every day? Like if they didn't have anybody to reach out to? Um, definitely. It's just nice for the extra little questions yes. uh, just to be able to reach out. But yeah, but no, everything was clear and concise and and um, yeah, so everything helped me along the way and it was step-by-step step and it just walked me through everything. Okay. Now, if somebody were to look into the Content Creator Lab and all of the details included, but they were still kind of on the fence about joining, what might you say to them as someone who's been through the whole experience now? Well, and I purchased other programs in the past as well, um, like a lot. Like I've done other things. So I have another yeah. list as well. So right. I purchased other programs before and they were 
an obscene amount of money. Some were less, like it's all over the place, but I never had the, like the one-on-one -on -one help where I felt like when I was watching the modules, like it really, like you're talking to me specifically because when I have questions, you like answer them before I get to them type of thing, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, but honestly to do this, to join this, I mean, even if it was someone that's like, I want to like take place of my, you know, income that I have, or I just want extra side money. The information is so powerful. Um, and it's a way to be your own boss. I yeah. mean, my, I love that I literally take photos of, I, I, I go grocery shopping already and I purchase that separately and I go through the process um, and I make the food and I create the recipe and all the photos and yeah. I'm my own boss and it's awesome. hundred percent freedom because you're not, you're not booking clients necessarily with this structure, oh. the way that you've structured your business. So you really can work as much or as little as you want, which is amazing. It's so hard to find that kind of an opportunity where you really can work, you know, a full time one week and take the next couple of weeks off if you want to like this, right. the way that our business can be structured is totally, that's totally a possibility. Right. And I love how I can make the recipes and I put them on my site and I share them on the Facebook groups and my email, you know, my email group. And, um, if they buy, they buy. And if right. they don't, then the next set of group that I keep like building up, they'll buy. So things that I had a couple of weeks ago are now selling now. Exactly. Uh, so it's really great. And I priced down a few things here and there. Cause I'm like, do I need to price down? They'll price down, they'll sell. But some of them I've just kind of let sit. Um, and then they're finally selling. So it's, yeah. just, it's about getting in front of the people and about exactly. building your email list. The email list is everything. And someone uh, might've seen it before, didn't need it at that time, but then later on needed it and they'll still pay full price for that. Yeah. Right. And I think the best part about all of this is that I want to be my own boss. And I like that. Sounds so terrible, but I like the idea of not having to deal with people. Like I get to You're completely I, behind the scenes. Yes. And I get yeah. to be creative and not have anyone tell me. And I know I could reach out to bloggers and say, Hey, do you need a special recipe? Yes. Uh, maybe I'll do that, but I really, I don't want to, like, I want to, you don't have to and yeah. buy and yeah. I just leave it at that. So it's really great. And I get orders and I've never even spoken to these people before. Exactly. I know. I love that aspect of it too, coming from, you know, a corporate background. And it was like, when I wanted to work from home, I transitioned to being a virtual assistant, but you still are on calls. You're still booking clients and going through that whole process. And this is like, so behind the scenes, you are just creating and like you, you have structured your business in a way where you have an online content shop. So you really can like set it and forget it and take yourself out of like the whole sales process, which is really, really nice. Yes. I love that. Yep. It's perfect. Well, thank you so much for yeah. just hopping on a call and sharing a little bit about your content creation journey. And I truly look forward to watching you and your content creation business just continue to flourish and thrive in the future as I know it will. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. This has been a really, really great experience. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.